Hey everyone, welcome back to Code in Motion. Today we're looking at leak code question number 268, find the missing number. Given an array nums containing n distinct numbers in the range from zero to n, return the only number in the range that is missing from the array. This is one of my favorite leak code problems because there's two main ways to approach this problem and I'm gonna go over both of them with you guys. But let's take a look at the example for now. If you're given an integer array nums with three, zero, one, you must report back the missing number. In this case, the missing number is two. All right, so the first solution to this problem is actually using bitwise operators. Now, before we get started with the algorithm, I just wanna give you guys a refresher about the rules that we're gonna use with the XOR operator. And so on the right-hand side, you'll see a references table of the XOR operation with P and Q. So just as a refresher, um, P X or Q is zero. If you have zero, zero, zero X or one is one, one X or zero is one and one X or one is zero. So basically the X or operator, it's an exclusive or it's only one. If you only have uh, one, one and one zero, right? So they have to be exclusive numbers, zero, zero and one, one are zero. Now, with that being said, let's look at the first rule that we're going to need to solve this problem. The rule is X X or X, so a number X word by itself is equal to zero. So let's take a look at an example five. Five in binary is one zero one. So what happens if we X or one zero one X or one zero one? We actually get zero, right? And it's because the exclusive or, if you're X oring the same bit, you always get zero. And so over here, if we X or the same exact number, every bit is the same and we're resulted with zero. So this is rule number one. Let's keep track of these rules on the right-hand side and the references, and we'll come back to them later in the problem. Now let's look at the next rule. So rule number two is X, X or zero is equal to X. So any number X or zero is equal to itself. Let's look at five again. So one zero one X or zero is equal to one zero one. And it's because one X or zero is one and zero X or zero is zero. Right? So no matter what bit you have, when you XOR it with zero, you always get back the original bit. And so let's keep track of that rule as well on the right-hand side. And let's look at the, th the third rule. The third rule is associativity and commutativity. So if in this example, if we take zero XOR zero XOR one, it's equal to one. If we take zero XOR one XOR zero, it's equal to one. And likewise, one XOR zero XOR zero, it's equal to one. And it doesn't matter which operation you do first, right? And so let's keep track of this rule as well on the right-hand side. Now let's actually start the problem. Find the missing number in the array three, zero, one, okay? So my first step is gonna be to actually XOR all the numbers from zero to N. Why zero to N? Well, the problem stated that all the numbers in the array are distinct. And we expect there to be the numbers zero to N with only one number missing. So I'm just gonna go zero to N and I'm gonna XOR all the numbers from zero to N. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the input array numbers as well. And so now I'm gonna say, okay, zero XOR one, XOR two, XOR three was XORing zero to N, but now I'm gonna XOR the elements in the array as well. So XOR three, XOR zero, XOR one. And now we're gonna use our rules that we derived in order to change this format, right? So the first thing I wanna do is sort these numbers. And I could do that because of rule three, right? Associativity and commutativity. And what this means is that I could change the order of these operations. And I'm gonna combine the like terms over here. So zero X or zero, one X or one, two, and three X or three. Now, what is the next step? The next step is that I'm gonna highlight the duplicate values and I'm going to use rule number one in order to simplify these terms. Duplicate XORs are zero, right? If you take N X or N, you get zero. So zero X or zero, one X or one, three X or three is equal to zero. And now what we're left with is zero X or zero X or two X or zero. Okay, we're getting closer. And now let's use rule number two. Anything X or zero is equal to itself. So zero X or zero is equal to zero. 
0 xor 2 is equal to 2, and 2 xor 0 is equal to 2. And what we're left with is 2, which is the missing number. And so this is how you solve this problem using bitwise operations. Now the time complexity over here is O of n, and the space complexity is O of 1, constant space, because we don't store any numbers. We iterate through the entire array once, and we also XOR n numbers. Now I'm going to admit, when I first looked at that lead code problem, I did not come up with the XOR solution. I think that is a very specific solution, and you really have to see the problem before to think in that direction. It's really, really tricky to figure out on the fly, especially in a 45 minute interview. And I want to share a solution that I actually used the first time I saw this problem. And I want to mention this because I actually don't really see it that much in LeetCode. It seems to be uh, like one of the solutions that people rarely use, but I think it's a really good alternative and it's actually really simpler to understand and code out as well. So the problem that the question is asking is, given an array of zero to n with one missing number, you want to find the missing number in the array. Okay, we're dealing with numbers zero to n, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the summation formula. The sum of zero to n is actually n times n plus one divided by two, right? So in this case, if n is three, that means the sum I expect is three times four divided by two, which is six. Okay, now what's the sum of the current array? Well, the sum of the current array is four. And so all we have to do is subtract these two values. The missing number is six minus four, which is two. So we can actually solve this problem using summations. And so this algorithm also has a time complexity of O of n because we have to sum up all the elements in the array and it has a space complexity of O of one. We're not storing anything. So let's take a look at the first algorithm using the XOR solution. We're gonna have res is equal to zero. Now for X in range, len nums plus one. We do plus one because we have to go up until n. We want to XOR every single number from zero to n at first, right? So res is equal to res XOR with x. Now I'm going to say for num in nums, for every number in nums, the idea is we, we do uh, XOR with the result, right? So res is equal to res XOR the number. And then that's it. We return back the result because we're left with the missing number. Let's run this algorithm. And it succeeds. All right, now let me show you my favorite solution. n is equal to len nums, and the expected summation, the expected sum of 0 to n is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. And now we return back the expected sum minus sum of nums. Let's run this. And it succeeds. I like this solution much better since it's shorter to write out and it's truly easier to understand. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more content like this, be sure to subscribe and like the video down below. It means a lot to me and I'll see you in the next one.